Alright, so the next one we got is number 75. And it says the propeller spins at 1880 revolutions per minute. Now, the revolutions per minute don't help us. So what we have to do is change that into um, radians per second. So you're going to do this by dimensional analysis. So revolutions, uh, there's in one revolution, there's two pi radians. So the revolutions cancel. And then um, in one minute, there's 60 seconds. So minutes cancel, and you're left with radians per second. And that's pretty good. So then you just take... You take 1880 times 2 pi divided by 60. You get one well, 197, and that's radians per second. Uh, so then you go back and it wants to know what is its angular velocity. Oh shoot, so that's part A. Part B says, what is the angular displacement in 2.5 seconds? So you're going to have to use this one. Hmm. You'll use velocity is equal to distance over time. But we're going to actually use the other one, like angular velocity is equal to angular distance over time where you do this is the your angular velocity 197 and it wants to know angular displacement but then 2.50 seconds shoots you can just plug it right in so you multiply across and you end up with uh, theta equals uh, 492 radians that's part B.